Welcome back, everyone. And things are just peachy here right now. I am joined now with Caroline Hargraves, Director of Marketing and Economic Development at Utah's Department of Agriculture and Food, to share more about locally grown stone fruit in the sponsored interview. And I want to start with you first, Caroline, talking about Utah's own. What is it? Uh, Utah's own is a state program operated by the Utah Department of Agriculture and Food, and our whole mission is to connect people with local farmers, ranches, food businesses, and more. Um, we have so many amazing producers across the state, and you just can't get that kind of quality anywhere else. And we need to be shouting it on the mountaintops of buy local, buy mm -hmm. from our local farmers. Mm -hmm. Right now in season are the stone fruit. What are the stone fruit? What's the umbrella? Oh, it's everyone's favorite time of year. It's like peaches, plums, apricots, nectarines. Um, they just came on about a week ago so like now through the end of September will be the best time to buy it they're so fragrant even a few feet away on the table you can smell them you sure can my daughter came back from New Orleans and she says where are the peaches where are the nectarines I'm like I don't have them yet and you said because they just came on season uh -huh. And they also are more in season down south earlier. Yeah, it's a little warmer out there. Utah has some really unique microclimates where we produce some of the best stone fruit in the nation, just on a little bit of a different timeline. Um, but if you take a drive through Utah County or up near Brigham City or even down south in Washington County, there are so many amazing orchards and farm stands. Is that what they, how they got their name, the Utah Fruit uh -huh. Highway? That's right. Okay. They're also just like some of the loveliest people, but some of the varieties, like a lemon Alberta peach, if you've never had one, it's just fantastic. Even little kids, it's my favorite thing, kids who think they don't like fruit or vegetables, like when you connect them with something local, the flavor is just so incomparable to what you can find in a traditional supermarket. And so when do we go out on the fruit highway? Is it every day? Is it on the weekends? Um, there's pretty much a farmer's market running almost any day of the week, and a lot of the farms have like multiple farm stands throughout the state um, that operate almost daily. Um, so if you visit our website, utahzone.org, you can find a map with more than 50 farmer's markets across the state. And if you visit the different orchards profiles, you can find exactly where they have a farm stand near you. Okay, so we have peaches, nectarines, plums. Mm -hmm. What else is grown here? Oh, that apricots, nectarines, just about anything you can imagine. Tart cherries are on right now. The sweet cherries have kind of wound down, but the tart cherries are just this vibrant, most beautiful red. You can even find them dried, um, kind of like raisins, but or craisins, but much better. Um, there's all sorts of amazing stuff grown right here in the Beehive State. Does it hurt your heart a little bit when we're grabbing the Washington State cherries when we have our very own? I think there's room for everyone, but for, like I always love to support local first. Um, I think it's a lot easier than most people realize, too. Um, people are busy, but you can find local producers in the normal supermarket that you go to. And really, there's so many farmers markets and farm stands these days. They've really expanded that it can just be part of your normal shopping routine, not something that you have to go out of the way for. I do love the fact that our grocery stores promote and support mm -hmm. local farmers. And Utah's own, it's not just fruit, but vegetables. And you even said soap. Yeah, um, all sorts of products. If it's made with a local agricultural ingredient, like goat's milk, you can find it um, on our website. So uh, farm stands, farmers markets, uh, ranchers, local beef, poultry. Uh, we have so many amazing bakeries and jam makers, salsa companies. <gasps> You can find everything to stock your fridge uh -huh. and the bathroom. Why do you think Utah has this bounty of local farmers and the fruit and the veggies here? I think that's what our, our heritage was built on. The people who do it, do it because they really care. There are a lot of easier professions, um, but our climate makes for some really uniquely delicious products. And when you buy from a local farmer, you get the freshest, most delicious thing that you can. Are most organic? when it comes to buying many, local? Many are. They might not have the USDA organic certification just with all the paperwork that entails, but the best, one of my favorite things about buying local is you can connect directly with the person growing and you can ask them about their practices, what they do for soil health, what kind of water conservation practices they might implement. Um, farmers, first and foremost, like steward the land that they rely on. Um, so they're caretakers and, and it's their community too, so they, they want it to be as healthy as possible. And it feels good what you're putting in your body and also for the next generation. It makes me feel good as a mom for my kids to eat the healthy local support. Uh -huh. Like it's a win-win. Totally. Because it's healthy and also it's good for the economy. And delicious. And delicious. All right. Our thanks to Utah's own for sponsoring this segment. Now it is